Welcome to my video on complex numbers and exponential form. In this video I want to explain what a complex number is written in the exponential form and some of the advantages of it. Uh, first of all let's start with the exponential number written in polar form. So that's going to be z is equal to r times the quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta. That's how we can write it in that form. We could also write it as z is equal to r times theta, where that's the angle. So it's also written in that form. Uh, now we want to use what's called the Euler identity, which is right here. And you can see it's very similar to what z looks like, which turns out to be very handy. Uh, this was developed by Leonard Euler uh, back centuries ago, and it's extremely helpful because it relates to the sine and the cosine and the exponential function and the complex number, so it's really a powerful equation. So we're going to take this and substitute it in here. So what we come up with, now z is equal to r times the cosine of theta plus i sine theta. That's our polar form. And now if we sub do the substitution I spoke about right here, then we get r e to the i theta. That's going to be an exponential form. And we're going to see later on that that makes things easier, like polar form, to uh, multiply and divide. And it's also the way they use it in some engineering applications, uh, waveforms, and in uh, electromagnetics. Now let's look at the example. Convert the complex number z is equal to 1 plus 3i to exponential form. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate the magnitude or modulus. And we've seen this in previous videos that that is going to be equal to r is equal to the real part squared plus the imaginary part. And so in this case the real part is 1. So that's 1 squared plus and the imaginary part is root 3, so we've got root 3 quantity squared. Now, this turns out to be 1 squared is 1, plus root 3 squared is 3, root 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that's the modulus or the magnitude. Second step, we're going to find theta, the angle, because we've got an exponential function, it's got to have a magnitude and an angle. Now, Remember back from earlier videos, I'll put a link to it, uh, the tangent of theta is equal to the imaginary part of the imaginary number divided by the real part of z. Now in this case, root 3 is the imaginary part. So it's root 3 divided by the real part, which is 1. So it's just equal to root 3. Now we take the tan inverse of both sides, so the tan inverse of the tan of theta just equal to theta is equal to the tan inverse of root 3. Okay, so let's use our Desmos calculator to do that. This is our Desmos scientific calculator. First thing I want to do is we've got it in degree mode. That's already punched, so we're going to get our answer in degree mode. Now we need to get the function key because we want to do the tan inverse. So we're going to do the tan inverse and now we want to go back, we want to do the square root, hit the square root button, and then I need to go back to the main because I need to get numbers, and we want to do root 3, close the parent, and that's 60 degrees because we're in the degree range. So the tan inverse of square root of 3 is 60 degrees. So theta is equal to 60 degrees. So now our exponential our complex number written in exponential form is going to look like r, which is going to be 2 e to the i, and theta is 60 degrees. So there's our answer. Now let's just plot that. Okay, here's our complex plane. This is the real portion, the imaginary axis. We're going up about 60 degrees, and the magnitude of 2 and 60 degrees. So there is our conversion of the complex number in rectangular form converted to exponential form. 
All right, well, I hope you got something out of it, and uh, thank you for watching this video and learn a little bit about exponential form. If you do, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.